I'm Epiphany Lachey, your Belt and Neighborhood reporter. I'm here at the Cadence Bank Center where cowboys and cowgirls are getting ready to hit the dirt. It's been 100 years since this rodeo started in Central Texas. Hello, Belton. How are you? If you've attended the Belton Rodeo, then you know that voice. It's Charlie Throckmorton. He's been a voice behind the rodeo for over 30 years, even after battling cancer. I've been doing this for so many years. It, I, I told you earlier when we met, I said, I don't have butterflies anymore. If I do, they fly in formation. Ellis White Holland Sr. started this tradition in our neighborhood. The first 4th of July rodeo was 1924, leasing bucking horses from the Texas State Penitentiary. Holland Sr. was on the celebration committee until 1940, passing away in 1944. There are generations of people who have grown up coming to the rodeo, bringing their, coming as children, bringing their children, and now bringing their grandchildren and great-grandchildren to the rodeo. And we see year after year people who uh, look forward to this annual tradition. It's Throckmorton tells me he has seen the rodeo change a lot from technology to athletes and even the crowd, which was not the biggest at the beginning when he started in 1988. We didn't have much of a crowd that year. They had just built the building in 87, I think, and so they were trying to get used to this beautiful Coliseum in the round, which is now the Cadence Bank Center. But down through the years, the population finally caught on. The arena holds over 6,000 people, and I'm told it sells out, which is a plus for our local economy. Throckmorton has witnessed it all from this announcer booth, including the moment when a father jumped on dirt to protect his unconscious son from a bull in 2022. Uh, all parents are going to do that, and it's called love, and you have to be on your thinking cap and you think quick. You have to think quick in this sport right here. If you don't, you're in trouble. And this rodeo will wrap up on July 6. You can find more information on our website. Reporting in Belton, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Epiphany Lachey.